I'm going to show you how to use my male face base mould. First of all, we want to put a light dusting of cornflour into the mould just in case your, mold, your paste is sticky. And then we want to roll a nice smooth ball of flesh coloured paste about the size of a ping pong ball. And before we push it into the cavity, I'm just dipping my finger into cornflour so that it doesn't stick and pull it out when I push it in. And I just want to make sure that this goes in and all round into the mould so that it's pushed into all of the features at the bottom of the mould. And then I'm going to take a teardrop piece and push it in with the narrow end towards the chin and bring the rest of this paste back up and over the back of the head. If you want your man to have a bold head, you might spend some time at this point smoothing all these joins out so that he has a nice smooth back of the head. But if you're putting hair on him, you don't need to worry about any of that at all. So we're aiming to get this nice egg shape here. And then we can pop this out of the mold and start putting some features on. There we go. And we can sit that back into our mold to work on. Then we want to take a tool with a point on, hold the nose and just put some nostrils into our face like that. Then we were going to put some a little bit of glue or a little bit of vodka into the eye cavity in order to put the eyes in. Not too much, just a little bit. We have a little bit of a dent on there, just going to shake that. And then we want to take some tiny little bits of white paste rolled into some little tiny little sausages and pop those into the eye cavities. And the next thing we will do is take some metallic blue or metallic coloured paint, I use rainbow dust, to dot and use an embossing tool, the larger end of the embossing tool, to dot the eye with the colour of the pupil. And do that on both of those, like so. And wipe that off. Then we will use some dusting powder while we leave the, uh, that colour to dry to dust the cheeks. I'm using Rolcom Skin Colour or Flesh Colour just gently, gently in order to put some colour onto our little chap. Like so. Once we've done that and we're happy that our blue for our eyes is dry. I use the other end of the large embossing tool and push that, pop that onto, into the black metallic paint and dot the middle of the eyes with those. I think I need to redo this one. We just turn him round, there we go, yes. I can paint the lips and I'm just again going to use the flesh colour but just to wash a bit just to put on the lips and I'm just using a very thin brush to get that colour onto the lips so it doesn't need to be too bright. Then I will take some brown but first of all I just want to put a little line of glue or vodka across the top of the eyelid and then have rolled a very thin piece of brown 
and that will go onto the eye. Let me just get this on, use another brush, just to shape that onto, onto the eye. And turn it onto its side. There we go. You can paint this detail on, or as I'm doing, you can use some paste. And then I'm just going to take my scalpel and just cut that, hoping that one stays there. Use my scalpel to just shape that a little bit. And then do the other side. So I'll just turn it around a moment. So I've put a little line of vodka across the top of the eyelid. Take the brown. scalpel and just cut at the side of the eye. Hoping that one doesn't come off. There we go. I can then put a line of vodka across the top across the brow line on both of these and pop some eyebrows onto him. Again doing this and then cutting with my scalpel to the right size. Turn him round. Doing it to the side so that you don't end up cutting across the face. And then I just need to have a little look at him <laughs> in order to make sure his eyebrows are okay because I've been doing him upside down. Just reshape that with my Dresden tool. And then one last little thing, I will take a tiny piece, tiny weeny piece of white, roll that into a very small, very fine strand of paste. Cut that with my scalpel and just slice off a tiny weeny bit that I will then pop onto the eye. And I put these at about 11 o'clock on each eye. just to make sure that's in the right place. There we go. And then we have our chap. Ready for some hair and ready to go onto your figure. <laughs>